All right, we're here with Sin Bowdy, who is also known as Kazarni in WWE. Uh, what are you up to these days? Uh, well, I live in Las Vegas, and along with D'Lo Brown and Jake the Snake, I coach at the Snake Pit Pro Wrestling School in Las Vegas uh, by night, where we teach pro wrestlers, aspiring pro wrestlers, and wrestlers that have already been doing it for a couple of years, and they just want some fine tuning. And then by day, we run a thing called the Fantasy Slam, which is a pro wrestling fantasy camp. So that is for the fans to come in. Uh, they are safely taken around the ring. We treat them kind of like Billy Crystal in City Slickers. Doesn't matter what age you are, how athletic you are, we'll keep you safe. And it's a really, really, really fun time. Do you get a lot of people asking you to speak the uh, Carney talk after the gimmick that you did in WWE? Sizzum tizimes. <laughs> and then, you know, and I, you know, sometimes I rent myself out as Kazarni, sometimes I'm Sin Bodhi, the Warlord of Weird, depending on what a promoter wants. But usually I'm in town all, all week at the school. And every weekend I'm flying, driving, planes, trains, submarines, someplace to some wrestling show somewhere. How did you like your experience there? It was short, but you had uh, definitely some memorable vignettes. Oh, thank you. Um, I wanted it to be a lot more than it was. You know, there's a lot of things. Sorry. There was, I see some shenanigans, you never know. that I got the John Wayne syndrome. I got like my, I like to have my back against the wall here. Here, guys shouting. Um, okay. Uh, my time at WWE, it was fun. I wish it was more than it was. Uh, Vince was excited to have me on. I was excited to be there and just through happenstance is about the easiest, simplified way to say it. You kind of get slipping through the cracks and next thing you know, you're out of a gig. And you know, when I was there, just tried to do what, uh, what the promoter wanted and that's it. But uh, you know, sometimes things don't pan out. And I get to uh, a lot of shows across the world, let alone the country, let alone the continent. And I get a lot of, why didn't you do that on SmackDown? And I would say that I, I pitched a lot of what I do on indie shows, but it sort of fell on deaf ears. So I think maybe I, I missed my window. I, you know, one of the guys that I helped sort of, I don't know, I sprinkled the water on his garden to get him to grow was Bray Wyatt and other, other people. And I think a lot of people are like, oh, you should have joined that family. And I'm like, well, I helped sprinkle the water on that garden, you know? Um, I think maybe if given a time machine, if I was to be there now, things might be different, but who's to know? I don't have access to that technology. How did your uh, relationship with Jake come about? I wrestled with Jake overseas, and then we met up again, and we wrestled a loop in Canada, and then we sort of, uh, I think he just, he liked my work, he liked how passionate I was, he thought I was an interesting guy, and uh, he just said, he goes, you know, I think you'd be something Vince would really like, let me take you on the road and kind of help polish you a little bit, and get you groomed and ready, you know, I was making indie mistakes and so forth and so forth, and he just gave me the last kind of fine tuning about psychology and so forth, and uh, we've been uh, great friends to this day. What's the one piece of advice that helped you the most from Jake? Well, so many things came out of Jake's mind that he sort of, by osmosis, I've just absorbed over the years. So many things. Um, use your instincts first. You know, take all the advice you want, but whatever you think you should do is what you should do. That's how it is. So if you're going to succeed or fail, do it as yourself. Any chance of seeing you in Impact Wrestling in the future? I don't know. I was at TNA way back in like the early beginning years of TNA, and uh, I don't know. Who knows how things will pan out, how things, how the cookie will crumble. I would love to uh, wrestle on any show that has fans that want to cheer and boo and scream and, and pour their heart into it, because that's, my heart is in pro wrestling, so I would like to work in front of any crowd that, that is ready for a good time. Speaking of fans, where can fans follow you? I'm all over social media at Sin Bodhi, S-I-N-N-B-O-D-H-I, -N -N Sin with two N's and Bodhi like the tree on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, I'm not a hard clown to find. Excellent. Any last thing you want to say? Follow your dreams, take no for an answer, do everything with a smile, look both ways before you cross the street while you're skating with thin ice and running with scissors. <laughs>